Hey guys, this is Clouds, and this is my 100 subscriber Q&A video. Let's get to the questions. Alright, first questions are from Mr. Gary08. By the way, he has a Battlefield channel like me, so check him out. First question, how'd you get your name? Why'd you choose the name Clouds? Well, uh, I just, I like Clouds. Yeah. You know, I, if you don't believe me, I, uh, I have a Reddit account, and I actually, I collected images of all the cloudscapes in Battlefield 4 from the multiplayer and the single player. And actually, it got a, it got a fairly nice response. It got like 500 upvotes. So apparently there are other people out there like me who enjoy clouds, whether they are real or fake. You know, it's an interesting thing. I, I read, um, apparently DICE has this technique. I think it's called tele... for... for... kamigurui? Tele... telephotogramagi. Tell. I don't remember, and I'm not gonna look it up. They have this technique where they basically... the reason things look so good in Battlefield and Battlefront, or at least the recent ones, they actually... They take photos of stuff and then just like put that into the game. So apparently that's why the clouds look so good in Battlefield 4. And why the landscapes in Battlefront look so good. I, they probably use it for Battlefield 1 too, which is why it looks so pretty. Another thing to note is, although my YouTube name is Clouds, that's because you can make your YouTube name, whatever you want. I also, I want to point out, notice the, uh, the sexy font my YouTube name is in. Yeah? You like that? That's, uh, that's called, it's either called, like, half width or full width. It's like sort of the, uh, I guess most people know it as the vaporwave font. It looks pretty nice, right? But, uh, where was I going with this? Right, YouTube even if there's other people named Clouds, I can still... I can't have that URL, but I can make my, you know, display name just Clouds. With the PlayStation Network, you can't do that. I, uh, I created my PlayStation account back in early 2011. I didn't really play online games before that, and uh, to my surprise, Clouds was already taken. Someone took that. And I just gotta say, it's it's really cool. I've never met someone like in the wild who has one of those really cool names. You know, that's just like a single word, not spelled incorrectly, doesn't have a bunch of like capital X, lowercase x around it. It's just like cloud, death, pizza. Dude, there's somebody on PlayStation Network named Pizza. That's pretty cool. But yeah, anyway, I, I couldn't pick Clouds because it was taken, and I was thinking, well, you know, you got some options here. You could perhaps, like I said, do the uppercase X, lowercase X, Clouds, lowercase X, capital, you know, do, you know that style. Or you could do the late, so instead of a O, I could have a zero, and a four for D, and a five for S, or something like that. Or I can make it clouds and then have like 20 Z's on the end of it. Because I assume no one has that name. What else could you do? Yeah, you know, just spell it incorrectly. I, me personally, I don't want to... No offense to anyone who has that type of name, but I don't... Those names are really ugly to me. I gotta be honest. So I didn't want that, so I was thinking, you know... What can I do to make this name... And I was thinking, eh, maybe I could do, make make it something funny. Because, you know, I'm a moderately humorous person, so, uh, I thought of Clouds P. Rain, which was fairly humorous to me at the time. It still is. And it's a type of name, like, I have had, I've had people, well, it's the type of name that will eat, it will enrage enemies when you beat them, and it will also... Your teammates will be like, whoa, this guy's got a cool name, who's this guy? 
a, a decent amount of the people that I added on PlayStation Network, it all came about because they were just like, dude, hilarious name. And I'm like, thanks. Thanks, buddy. And so the friendship began. So yeah, that's why I have the name Clouds and Clouds P. Rain. Second question. What's your favorite BF1 class? I would say so far it's the medic, cause uh, you know there's a lot of bad medics out there who don't revive and uh, I like to pick up the slack. Also being able to heal yourself, it's such an invaluable asset to yourself. Like it's so good, I love it. Runner up favorite class would be the assault class because I like to spam dynamite on infantry. It's really fun. Third question, what are your thoughts on the PS4 Pro, and are you thinking of buying one? Um, I, I've been, you know, I've been following the PS4 Pro heavily, but I'm moderately interested in it. Although the thing is, it seems to be they're really marketing it for the 4K, and I don't have a 4K TV, and to buy a decent one, it costs like, I don't know, 500 bucks minimum so I'm, I'm probably not going to be doing any 4k gaming anytime soon but to be fair the ps4 pro also developers can choose to make you know more fancy 1080p so higher frame rates more detail i think some people it's described as super sampling where it will take a higher resolution and then pull it down to 1080p so even though it's 1080p, it looks a little sharper, more detailed. It's good stuff, apparently. But, I don't know, I'm not... I bought my PS4 last year? Yeah, last year. So, in 2015. So, the idea of, you know, buying, like, an upgrading, I I don't know. I, I don't really feel like it. Because I'm also thinking, like, okay, the PS4 Pro is releasing in 2016. The PS4 released in 2013. How soon do you think we're gonna get the PS5? I didn't buy the PS4 on release, but now that I've, you know, kind of started to get a gaming channel, I would very much like to purchase the PS5 on release day. And you gotta figure, man, it's gonna sell out quickly. It's probably gonna cost a little bit, so I'm thinking, uh, do I wanna buy the PS4 Pro? Because I'm thinking, well, let me look this up real quick. Let me look this up. Alright, so the, uh, the PS1 released in 1994, and the PS2 released in 2000, so that's a six year span of time. The PS3 released in 2006, so again, you've got a six year span of time. PS4 released in 2013, so between the PS3 and PS4, that's seven years. So you gotta figure... PS4 in 2013, that means we might see the PS5 in, at the earliest, 2019, or maybe 2020. So I don't know, now that I'm thinking about it, four more years, maybe I should buy a PS4 Pro. Because I'm like waiting for the PS5, but it's gonna, it's gonna come out like four years from now. But I don't know, I did just purchase a very beefy, expensive PC, so I gotta be honest. I really, even though I want to, I, pr I probably shouldn't buy the PS4 Pro. But what I might do is maybe in a year or a year and a half, might upgrade to the PS4 Pro, maybe. Yeah, so PS4 Pro, eh, I'm not, you know, super excited about it. And will I buy it? Maybe in a year or two. Maybe not. Last question. And this is a good one. How many tears have you shed for Harambe, the dead gorilla? I'll be honest, it was, a, it was a very dark day indeed when Harambe was shot and killed for no reason. You gotta figure, you're raised, I mean he's basically a slave, let's be honest. That's what, you know, zoo animals are. I don't know if he was captured or perhaps he was born and raised in a cage. He has never, he never knew freedom and he never will because he's dead. It's... It's very emotional, although I haven't cried for him, I'll be honest. I've shed no tears for him, but it's pretty fucked up when you think about it. Like, this gorilla is, he's, 
you, you've already enslaved him, and then when some kid breaks into his slave home, he's, he, I saw the video, like, he's just like, what's it called? I guess he was sort of caressing the child, looking at him, and they thought that he was gonna kill the kid, so they killed Harambe. As far as I know, it didn't look like Harambe was going to kill him, and I don't know how deadly gorillas are. I know chimpanzees will seriously, like, they will rip your face off. They will rip your penis off if you have one. Like, chimpanzees are terrifying. So, I don't know how violent gorillas can get, so, I don't know. But still, Harambe was innocent. So, yeah, I don't know. It's very sad. But I, I haven't cried for him. And I'll, I'll be brutally honest, even though it's very sad he died, the whole Harambe meme, or Harambe Meme, this Harambe Meme is, um, it's run its course, I would say. So, rest in peace, Harambe, but we gotta move on. That's, you know, in life stuff happens, but you gotta move on. All right, so last question from Code Red. If you had to survive on an island for one day, which of these items would you take with you and why? And you can choose one out of these three. A PS4 controller, Battlefield 1, or a computer mouse? All right, um, I don't know, this is, I, I'm, I thought about this, first of all, Battlefield 1 is a weird choice because I can't play it on anything and like it's just a disc like what am I doing? I suppose you could use the disc to like reflect sunlight at a plane above To rescue me, but I'm only gonna have to survive on this island for one day So I probably don't need to be rescued from a plane or a, a boat So PS4 controller PS or no PC mouse I'd probably go with a mouse. Now, the reason I choose the mouse is because I would choose a wired mouse. And with that long wire, you can do a few things with that, you know. You could perhaps tie some bait to the end of it and like fish with it. Or, you know, if I needed to kill another animal or perhaps another survivor on this island, I could like stealthily make my way up to them, wrap the, the cord around their neck and then choke them to death. Speaking of choking to death, I could also use, if I, if I like got to my wits end and was just like, I quit, I could use the wire to the gaming mouse to hang myself. Um, I don't, I don't know how to do these traps. I've also seen traps, you know, like in The Last of Us when uh, Joel is in Bill's town and when he steps on something, like, there's a rope in a circle, and it, like, it tightens, and it catches him by the foot. I could use the, uh, wire to the PC mouse to do that as well. So there's, there's a lot of things you can do with that wire that would make it useful to surviving on an island. So, that's my choice. Alright, and, uh... Because I got, you know, only a couple questions, I, uh, I wanted to do something else. I was thinking of doing a quiz, and I was like, alright, what's some goofy quizzes I can look up? And I, I looked for, you know, a spared animal quiz. I'm like, yeah, that's kind of, it's kind of uninspired. What's something else? And then I was like, you know what? I wonder if anyone has made a Lisa Frank quiz. So I Google searched it, and guess what? There's a quiz for which Lisa Frank character is your spirit animal. Let's get into it. Start. Pick a Tamagotchi. Wow, this brings me back. Hmm. You know, I gotta say, between these... between the specific Tamagotchi characters on screen, I gotta say, the ones... these first three are cuter than th this guy. Got the hearts. I'm gonna go with gold. That's a nice color. Looks good. Choose a troll. Um, I don't know. These always creep me out. I don't know why. Why do people like these? Uh, 
You know, I, I like Halloween. Probably my favorite holiday, so I'm gonna pick uh, this guy. He's very Halloween themed. Which one of these would I bring back? All right, we got some hair accessories. Uh, I don't, the only one of these, I have long hair. I use these things if I put it in a bun, a man bun, I guess you could say. So I guess I would pick these. I gotta say this one right here, this, this red and dark, I don't know what, black? That looks really nice, so I pick this. Choose one of these treats. Okay, we got the bottle pops, a giant carton of hubba bubba, what is this? Is It looks like a mound of like shredded bubble gum. It says shake and chug. I'm going to assume this is a very small jug because I'm imagining like a gigantic like over a gallon of shredded bubble gum that you chug. I don't think that's what it is. I'm going to ass I'm going to pray that this is very small because I can imagine like some morbidly obese person just inhaling this. I never had this though. I never tried that out. Okay, ouch gum. This is another thing that I've never had. I've never seen I've had sour, you know, candy before, but never the ouch bubble gum. The wonder ball. This this I remember and this brings me back. These are pretty good. Got like some treats in the chocolate ball. Lollipop paint shop. Now this, I remember, and this, this is quite good, I gotta say. Don't know, I, I, don't, I don't think I've ever had a squeeze pop. So I'm gonna pick this. This brings me back. If I remember this, it's very sour. Yeah, this is described as sour watermelon. Wow, that looks good. Which game made your slumber parties lit? Well, fam, I would say, personally, what the f- <laughs> Dream phone, pretty pretty princess, girl talk. The only thing of these that I've done, I recognize this thing. You pick a color, a number, and then there's like a question. I don't remember how to design these, but this was the only, and I never did this at a slumber party. We just did it in school, like, so, I don't know. I guess this somewhat made grade school more lit, fam. There you go. Pick a hit clip. Let's see, what do we got? Britney Spears, Aaron Carter. Oh, Hillary Duff Pack, neat. I'm gonna pick Backstreet Boys because I gotta say Backstreet Boys. I do like the Backstreet's back. All right. I forget the bass line, but it's it's pretty good. Favorite Disney Channel original movie. I never really watched Disney that much, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> Smart house, when the computer at home has opinions of her own. Whoa. Whoa, look at this. These guys are freaking out. Um, I don't know. Actually, the only one of these that I've seen is Xenon. So, I guess I pick that. Which Nickelodeon game show? Oh, this is an easy one. Legends of the Hidden Temple. Is this... Who, who would pick any... Why would you... It's not even close. Favorite school supply. Let's see, we got the markers that have special shapes on them. Bunch of colory. Whoa, scented markers. Look at this. I can't tell which flavor. Or not flavor. You don't. These don't taste good. Do not taste them. The scent. If I remember correctly, there's one. It's either black or brown. That is the smell of cooked marshmallows. I'm a fan. Definitely a fan. Choose an accessory. Alright, we got... You know, I, I'm not a fan of like, uh... Wristbands or watches or... These things. Bracelets. 
I don't like having like necklaces or bracelets or rings on me. I don't like, I don't know, I just, I don't like it. I don't like having stuff touch me like that. I can't explain why. So it's either these, which I have no idea what it is, or a flip phone. I picked the flip phone. And this is the 10th question, so we're about to see what my Lisa Frank spared animal is, so buckle up. I am the chill alien. Fucking sick. <laughs>